So Antonio, first of all, how is the fitness of the group going into this big game with West Ham? Yeah. Mm, the group and uh, the players uh, are in a good fit. Yeah, and uh, we are working very well. Uh, only a little problem for uh, for Eden Hazard, but uh, I think uh, nothing of serious for the game against uh, against West Ham. Yeah, we are we are preparing a different solution also to to try to uh, to limit this uh, uh, the strength of the our uh, our opponent. But it's important for us to play our football, uh, our idea of football uh, with uh, yeah to to bring our philosophy to try to to play to try to uh, to score uh, to de to defend very well uh, to to play with uh, high intensity. It's important this. And then, for sure, we are preparing something of different. Uh, if you face uh, a player uh, that is uh, uh, is fast, another is uh, very strong physically. Um, yeah, we are preparing very well. Brilliant from Lampard, and now a nil card. There's the equaliser. Great little one-two. Great little thing over by Lamps. There you go, Nicholas Anelka finishes it in the back of the net. Chelsea on terms, he almost broke the net. Terrific penalty. We're going to get a retake here, are we? It's encroachment. Oh, I've been close for by everybody. Very rare to see. So Lampard has to do it again. Nerves of steel, Green got a piece of it, but he couldn't keep it out. You are kidding me, another retake. Lampard for the third time against Green, and this one will count. Uh, West Ham then, Monday night, Jace, back there. Season started on a Monday night against them. It did indeed, yes, absolutely. It was um, a late minute winner, wasn't it, from Diego Costa. Left it really late, and since then, so much has happened. They are much improved, actually, over the last, I don't know, certainly the last month or so. They got themselves out of the relegation trouble. They're in. This will be a tough game, it always is, against West Ham, but I fancy it strongly there. In the next two games, we look set to face big, strong strikers, Andy Carroll for West Ham, Zlatan Ibrahimovic for Manchester United. Does that affect your preparations? Yeah, for, for, for sure. Uh, it's, it's important all, all also to study the, the opponent, the characteristic. Uh, if uh, if you have to to play a, a game more physically or more technically, and to prepare uh, during the training session uh, the right way to face this uh, this type of situation. No doubt the boss has had a few selection dilemmas ahead of this one, with so many players in good form, allied to the aerial threat that West Ham will pose. We start in midfield and it feels like all season it's been a battle as to who partners in Golo Kante. Cesc Fabregas had a storming afternoon against Swansea and will be keen to retain his place in the side ahead of Amanda Matic. So let's have a look at what the pair bring to the party, starting with our big Serb. Two players that bring very different things. Let's have a look at what this big man brings. Defensively, far more solid. And I'm sure N'Golo Kante defensively enjoys playing alongside him. Here are the pair dovetailing one another very, very well. But just watch how Nemanja Matic just keeps possession, doesn't go beyond the midfield, is there happy in support. Here he comes, just happy to keep four or five yard passes and retain possession. If he can't always go forward, he always looks to, he's happy to go back and start again. Like I said, he's happy to go forward. This is a brilliant defence splitting pass. One touch drives it into Hazard's feet, and he does the rest. So this is really interesting. This is at, uh, at Hull. Just watch now how he keeps going. Once that ball comes into his feet, beautiful pass, but he doesn't go beyond 
the front man. Doesn't go to look for support. He's just there now offering to feet. There he is at the centre of your screen. Drops a little bit deeper alongside N'Golo Kante. There he is, picks it up again. Passes it, moves it on again. But just what, he doesn't go forward. He doesn't go and try to link up with William or Costa. Once it's cleared, he's there to mop it up and passes it on to his midfield partner and we rain, uh, retain possession. Now, Cesc Fabregas, very different, but looking to go forward all the time, but in a different way. Wonderful technician, brilliant pass outside of the foot, looking to go beyond the midfield. Now, defensively, he's not been his strongest point, but there you can see how hard he's worked. But straight away, he's looking for that 30, 40, 50 yard pass that can really make the difference, can perhaps end up in a goal. Slightly different. Again, look at this, always looking to go forward. Wonderful pass and sets ourselves up for another attack. This time goes out to Eden Hazard. But now look who arrives on the edge of the box. Slightly different to what Nyanda Matic does there. We've already played West Ham twice this season. The first game, we won. You wore a suit. The second game, we lost. You wore your tracksuit. What will you be wearing this time? This time, this time uh, for sure, I, I, will, uh, I will wear a suit. <laughs> Lucky suit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>